Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time of day is when you hear this message, I pray that your mind, your heart, and your spirit are all poised to receive, to accept, and to respond to words of wisdom. Ashe. When I was in the Bay Area, there were a number of times that I would go to the Western doctor for a diagnosis. And then I go to the Chinese doctor. We have this Chinese clinic, real great Chinese clinic in, in uh, Oakland. I don't know if it's still there, but uh, I used to go there and then get my treatment, right? Because the Western system has a very good, precise diagnosis system, but I don't really like the, the, the prescriptions, right? I don't like the pharma pharmaceuticals that they give you. Whereas with the Chinese medicine, the, you know, the, the teas and all that, they're, they're, those are things that are, right, there's naturopathic. So based on that experience and others, uh, I can accept when my students, my clients, they come to me and they're, they, they wanna consult Ifa, they wanna learn about Orisha lifestyle but they also practice yoga or, or um, they're into astrology or they have, you know, they use tarot cards or a pendulum or other kinds of modalities. I get it. I totally get it. Makes sense. I don't think that there's uh, any inherent problem in that kind of a, you know, um, way of, you know, that kind of methodology. But there, there comes a point that I do find um, that people struggle, okay? And people struggle at the point that there's a contradiction. When the astrologer is telling you something that contradicts what Ifa says, when there's something that you need to do in the way of a sacrifice or something like that, or an observance that contradicts um, what what happens, you know, or what best practices are in yoga, for example. And so these are pro these are areas where I see people have real problems because now they have this dilemma. What am I supposed to do? Which one is right, right? And um, even in a more general sense, like what's what's my attitude? What's my mindset? What's right? What am I what am I trying to accomplish? I find this people can be a bit confused when they're combining systems and the just the attitude, right, about what you're doing. It's a little, you, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're confused, right? So, for example, if you look at things that are, you know, yoga, for example, yoga may promote a kind of uh, meditative introspective um, approach to life whereas you know uh, if I might be telling you about you know carrying out some more assertive kinds of behaviors right to get out there more and be more upfront right uh, and you you can find yourself in this sort of a dilemma. Is this is this right? Should I behave this way? They're telling me this, and I feel this, but this these these practices that I have, you know, in in another area, have right, you know conditioned me in a different way, and they or and they promoted different kinds of values, right? So it's those kinds of dilemmas, right? attitude mindset as well as specific activities that can be contradictory make it difficult for you to determine what's the best thing to do right and this is where you have to understand not only your practice but also the system that your practice comes out of well, you have to understand, the better you understand the system that informs your practice, then it's going to be easier for you to have a context for 
what the best thing for you to do is at one particular point or another. So what am I talking about? Within Orisha lifestyle, for example, our system has a supreme being, Olodumare, and then we have a pantheon of deities. We have arguably a pantheon of ancestors. We have um, the living environment. We've got drums. We've got dances. We've got possession. We've got divination. Uh, we've got natural medicines. We've got some little you know magic if you will all of these are elements within our system okay and all of those elements within the system point towards a couple of things one the fulfillment of your personal destiny two the ability to deliver upon your ancestral promise three the um ability to comply with Olodumare's mandate for you as a human being to help bring about the good condition. Okay, those are three elements of our system, right? Fulfill your personal destiny, deliver on the ancestral promise, help bring about the good condition. So it's you, your ancestors, your lineage, and the world at large. Those are the three sort of commitments that are, that are built into our system. And then you got all these different practices, da, 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 like I mentioned before, drumming and dancing and singing and herbs and magic and da, 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 right? It just goes on and on and on. There's a lot of different practices. But even, you know, when you come to the point of devotion, those practices can be broken down too. But all of those different practitioners are going to observe a calendar. They're going to have an ijuba. They're going to recite oriki. They're going to throw obi. And they're going to, um, unless you're a shongo person, you're going to throw a robo. And then you're going to make offerings. And that's going to be true of the drummers, of the of the dancers, of the herbalists, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So th those are five practices that, that kind of ground our system. Okay. And I'm talking about Isheshe, the West African uh, tradition. Right. Um, so when you understand that these five areas of activity... Right, observing the calendar, Ijuba, etc. When I do these things, these things help me stay congruent with the system that I practice, which says that my job, my purpose here is to fulfill my personal destiny, deliver on the ancestral promise, and help bring about the good condition. You see what I'm saying? So I'm I'm nice and snug in there. I'm, I still have to make some decisions and I can take in all kinds of different information. I can contemplate things on different levels and from different angles, but I'm, I'm nice and comfy right there, nestled into the, the practices that are built into my system and all of it is congruent with one another. Okay, so if I talk to an astrologer or I read my horoscope or I and contemplating some, you know, Hindu philosophy or Zen philosophy or whatever. Great. I can take it all in. I can meditate upon it. I can even put it to use. But it's all going towards the enhancement of my practice within my system, which helping, which is helping me meet my obligations as Enya, as Obafemi Origunwa, as a child of this lineage. OK, so your practice is your safe space. Your, your, your practice is your security. Your practice is what reduces so much anxiety and makes it so much easier for you to discern what's what's good and what's not good, what's productive and what's not productive, because it, it depends. Right. It depends when when you hear one bit of advice from, you, you know, the 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 Hindu philosopher right and it, it it sounds good it rings true but it contradicts what your oluo says you know you have this dilemma but you got to realize what the hindu philosopher is talking about even though he may be presenting it in a form forum that looks universal he's talking about he's talking about things based on his orientation based on his system which says that we are doing this. 
So yeah, it may it may be fitting for someone who's trying to travel in the direction that he's traveling in. You may be going in another direction, right? And, and you're going to know that by the system that you practice. Now, some people are going to say that I'm, you know, that you're just doing your own thing. Now, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're one of those folks who's just out there. I don't have any system. I just pull freely from. Yeah, that, that's that's not what I'm talking about. There are, you're gonna, you are going to come to the limitations and the benefits of that particular approach on your own. I'm talking about the people who have already dipped and dabbled and combined and mixed things together. And they've come to that crossroads and they've gotten that dilemma. And they've had to make a decision. And they just, you know, maybe they decided not to decide and, 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 and just did nothing and let things coast on until they turned out according to the you know as the as the cards may fall as they say but then other people haven't had to make decisions and maybe the decisions were beneficial or not but the way you can determine why the the the, the, the outcomes were what you wanted or not is going to be based on your system and the practices that grow out of that system and so within the orisha lifestyle academy and the school of orisha studies what we do is we introduce you to the system of Orisha lifestyle. And then we train you in the specifics of the practices of devotion within Orisha lifestyle. And we do these with the explicit intent and directives to help you deliver upon your own personal destiny, which includes self-discovery, mastery of your natural gifts and talents, knowing who you serve, being able to show up for those people. Secondly, we, we gear all of the training and education towards helping you to discover and deliver upon the ancestral promise because we have recognized that all of us have ancestors. You, you didn't just appear here. Someone sent you here and they sent you here with a purpose. They sent you here with some tools. That's your ancestral ancestral promise you pick up those tools you figure out what the what the mission was before you got here and again it's going to make it so much easier for you to carry out your mission and then last but not least we we gear all of the training towards helping you as any uh, a human being to help bring about the good condition as defined by ifa in the holy odu okay so i am always looking for leaders i'm looking for people who want to help improve the world through positive influence. If you are one of those people, I invite you to visit orishalifestyle.com or opafemio.com and start looking at the, the, the offerings that we have in the way of blogs, videos, books, classes, training experiences, so that you can start living the medicine that will heal your life and heal the lives of those who you are destined to serve. Abora boye, abo shisho, odabo.